Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'll be showing you step by step how to add other tracking page on Shopify. The first thing you want to do once on your Shopify admin page you are going to go over to the bottom left hand corner and right where you see apps you are going to tap on that. After selecting apps I want you to tap right where you see app and sales channel settings. Once you have done that, you are going to go over to the top right hand corner and you are going to select Shopify App Store. Once in the Shopify App Store, as you can see right here, I want you to tap right where you see the search bar and you are going to type in track your order. After typing in track your order, you will be redirected to this page on which you'll see numerous apps that you can use to track your order on Shopify. Our clients can use to track their order on your Shopify store better yet. The one that I would recommend you use is Track123 as it is completely free and it is also highly rated as you can see right here. And it has been used by numerous owners of Shopify store without complaint. And it is easy to integrate on whichever theme you are using. As you can see, it is very highly rated. So all you'll need to do now is tap on Add App. After selecting Add App, you'll be redirected to this page on which you are going to tap on Install App in the top right hand corner. So let's tap on Install App. Once the app has been installed, we'll be redirected to a new dashboard. Just give it a few seconds to load up. And by the way, adding a tracking page to your Shopify store is very important as this will help customers to track their orders. So this will help to build more trust. From here, you are going to simply tap on the account that you're currently using. So you'll choose your account as you can see right there. After you have chosen your account, you will be redirected to this dashboard. Just give it a few seconds to load up. And this is the track 123 dashboard. And you can see from the left hand menu option, you can see the page editor, orders, integration, support, settings, and analytics. So the first thing you're going to do, let's close out of this. Let's tap on no tanks. And once you have done that, you can see right here, you can come back to the beginning at any time. So the first thing you want to do once on this page. As soon as this page loads up, you can see right here, success, your tracking page is generated successfully. And if I were to tap on this URL, let's say I open this URL in the next page. You can see that we now have a tracking page as you can see right here. This is how it looks at the moment. And if we would like to edit it, all you have to do now if you would like to edit it is go over to the left and menu option. And right where you see page editor, you're going to tap on that. After selecting page editor, you can see the default style which we are using right now. By tapping on the eye right there, this is the default style. But if you would like to change it to the modern style, all you'll have to do is select the modern style and we can preview how the modern style looks, as you can see right there. So all you'll have to do is tap on edit. Once you have selected edit, you'll be able to select modern if you'd like to select the modern style. Also, if you would like to add your store logo on the tracking page, you can do that right here. You can also change the process bar color if you want. And you can also change the default date format by tapping on edit. So after tapping on edit, for example, if you would like to change how the date look, you could tap right there. So you could change it to this settings where it has the month, day, year, or you can choose day, month, year, any one of these options. And you can also edit the time. So if you like to use the 24 hour time, you can also do that. And you can also see translation right here. If you would like to edit that, you can also do that right there. 
and you can scroll down and if you would like to add upsell you can do that upsell display location you could do that and you can also enable estimated delivery time if you want so you could tap on enable and after selecting enable you'll see right here calculate from and from here you will be able to set up the estimated delivery time if you want to do that also and you can also enable product reviews on it if you want for example if i were to tap on view example you can see how it looks right here and you can see the product review button right here on the example so if you would like to add that to your tracking page you can tap on enable as there are numerous options on how to customize your tracking page and you can scroll down and you will be able to add the map coordination so if you would like to add the destination address you can do that or if you would like to not show any map at all you can do that also by tapping on do not show map and this is the information that will be shown the tracking info the carrier logo and a tracking number as you can see right there once everything is to your liking what i would recommend you do now is scroll back up and you are going to tap on save in the top right hand corner after you have saved it you can tap on view your tracking page in the top right hand corner so you can see how your tracking page look as you can see right there this is how our tracking page looks right now and if i were to scroll down you can see the status right there just for example sake and then as i was saying you can see the map right here for example and then you'll be able to see the package contents as you can see there and you can see the carrier and the person can track it date by date and they can see the different processes as you can see there it looks very professional but now to add it to our navigation bar it's quite easy all you'll have to do is tap right where you see dashboard after you have tapped on dashboard you are going to tap on copy link Once you have copied the URL, what I want you to do next is go over to the left hand menu option and right where you see online store, you're going to tap on that. Then you're going to select navigation. After selecting navigation, you'll be redirected to this page. And from here, you can select main menu. After selecting main menu, you're going to scroll down a bit and you are going to tap on add menu item after tapping on add menu item in the name you are going to type in track your order so let's type in track your order then you are going to paste the link that you had copied so we'll paste the link then you are going to tap on the icon right here to add it then you are going to tap on add in the bottom right hand corner after you have added the link, what I want you to do next, let me tap on add real quick. After you have added the link, you can simply drag, track your order up to the top. So all you'll have to do is tap on it. Then you'll see the six dots and you're going to drag it and I'm going to place it right below home. As you can see right here, then you're going to tap on save in the top right hand corner. Once it has been saved, you can go over to the left hand menu option, right where you see online store, you are going to tap on the eye right there to preview it. And you can see right here, track your order is now added to the navigation bar at the top. And if one, someone should come and tap on it, you can see right here, it leads them to this page on which they'll be able to paste the link right here for the tracking order. So they can paste the link right here. And that's it. 